Продовжуємо. We continue our work in the Ukrainian Crisis Media Center. Now we have a presentation of the project because of the war. And we have Ms. Oksana Havrilok, Director of the Information and Coordination Center. Mr. Dnipro Muravsky, photographer and volunteer. Mr. Um, uh, Pavlovsky, a project coordinator, Alexei Makuhin, and later we will have Ms. Maria Berlinsk. Good afternoon, dear friends. We're happy to present to you the project which will be launched tomorrow here in the Ukrainian house. The project is held because of the war, and this is the project of the Information and Coordination Center. This is creative project, and on the framework of this project tomorrow, we will present to you photo exhibition by Alexei, by Dmitro Moravsky and also a photo album published by him um, uh, with the eyes of a volunteer. We also would like to present exhibition uh, a photo exhibition uh, where you will see the pictures my, made by war chaplains uh, and uh, anti-utopia um, exhibition. You can see all those uh, components, all those chapters, photo chapters in the book by uh, Dmitro Borovsky. Objective of this uh, project uh, is uh, fully in compliance with the work of our uh, information and coordination center. We have created a platform uniting uh, those creative people who deal with the um, military projects, who try to popularize Ukrainian um, armed forces and to, to uh, support uh, ATO participants. Also, our objective is to uh, reveal the project's uh, underlying problems and uh, to um, uh, offer some solutions. Later, Ms. Maria Berlinska will join us. She is coordinated the project of uh, Invisible Battalion documentary about participation of women in uh, combat activities. And with this, I am very pleased to give the floor to Dmitro Morovsky, photographer whose work we represent today. Um, thank you for your attention. I would like to mention from the very beginning that this photo album is a result of a teamwork. It's not just a work of one person. It comprises pictures that we made within three years along the entire contact line in all um, regions of the end sectors along the um, uh, uh, contact line and close to the area of hostilities. Uh, we try to present our vision of what's going on in the east of Ukraine. Also, our objective was to draw attention of uh, Ukrainian society uh, to the fact that the war would not uh, and uh, with uh, a victorious uh, um, events, but it will be over only uh, at the moment when we try to um, overcome, when we finally will overcome all the uh, negative assisting factors of the war. Mm, and, uh, um, oh, in our project, we wanted to show everyday lives of the combat activities, participants of their families, of the uh, internally displaced people, etc. I would like to represent Yaroslav Pavlovsky, project coordinator, because of the war. He is also an employee of our uh, information and coordination center. He will describe in more detail 
the process how that book was uh, published. Uh, I would like to thank to the Ukrainian House Administration, to Ukrainian Crisis Media Center, and uh, to Information and Coordination Center, who worked jointly on the project which will uh, and exhibition which will be open tomorrow. The book had been being prepared for several months, and the only first copies of the photo album will become available tomorrow. And uh, the photo album comprises not just the photos made by Metro Moravsky, it also includes narrative uh, re compiled from the personal opinions of those who participate in the uh, combat activities, who uh, come back to peaceful life with the families of uh, the servicemen and volunteers involved in the East. Uh, mm, uh, this book uh, also comprises uh, 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 civil society element, uh, that is 10 percent of uh, uh, the income from this book, of revenues from this book, will be um, disseminated and uh, uh, allocated to um, our volunteer organizations. Uh, come come back home alive uh, in hospitals, etc. Mm, that's why I encourage you to uh, mm, uh, to uh, to buy our books because big part of the revenues will go to charity work. Uh, now I would like to give the floor to Volodymyr who will. Speak speak about anti-dot project. This is artistic project. It is not about the war. It is about life. Um, in our country, actually, we observe two parallel lives going uh, together. One, one, uh, one is the war at, at the front line, and another is a peaceful life in the mainland. And uh, I'm familiar with both sides of uh, um, this parallel lives. Uh, I'm an artist, and I deal with uh, um, artistic uh, projects. At the same time, I was involved in the combat activities. Why this project is uh, called Anti-Dot? We cannot, of course, have ever seen against the war, but Anti-Dot is like anti-poisoning substance. Mm, uh, suggesting that you should be uh, conscientious, you should understand clearly what's going on. Mm. Uh, I think that the war could be prevented. But since many people were not fully aware what was going on in the country, the war became possible. That's why our wish for the future is to prevent such useless wars as this one. So our project is about future spring uh, that uh, we try to uh, remind that uh, the new life uh, will will be born in spring that uh, flowers will become then the fruits will come etc i would like to add that this artist works uh, with the tissue with the material from which the military uniform is made. Uh, unfortunately, coordinator of the invisible battalion uh, cannot um, come here. And uh, I would like to mention a couple of words about invisible battalion. Uh, 
Um, this is about those who uh, joined armed forces first as volunteers, then they become, uh, then they became uh, staff servicemen, and uh, some um, amendments to legislation. Uh, were made allowing women to fill in sometimes some types of vacancies in the armed forces. Um, so this uh, will be a documentary about uh, women at the war. Uh, today we would like to show you a small teaser about this future documentary. Uh, thank you for your attention. I would like to remind you that opening of the exhibition and presentation of the book uh, uh, of, by Dmitro Muravsky in the DOT project exhibition of the photos made by military chaplains will be tomorrow. This is our joint project with the Ukrainian House, with the Ukrainian Crisis Media Center, and uh, the Information and Coordination Center. Uh, thank you. It was very detailed presentation. I don't know even what to ask. Thank you very much for your presentation. We will be happy to see you next time. Thank you.